So upon popular request, I recently did a review or overview or just pretty much messing around with something pretty cool that I thought was a great addition to your music production, you know, great production tool to use. It was the Output Excel, which is a vocal engine. And so I had several people asking me, how do you get that to work with Studio One? So here's a video showing you the process of actually downloading everything and getting everything uploaded. So basically, here is the site. This is the output site, and they have several awesome products here. They have the Excel, they have the X Loops, they have the uh, the Rev. That's the famous one. I believe that that may have been the first one, the reverse one, and then um, the newest one I believe is Movement. And then they have a another one. You just have to visit your product section here. And the other one is Signal. Signal is a fairly new one as well. So the one that I purchased was XL. And you can actually click here. And, and once you purchase everything, they're going to send you a download, you know, your serial numbers, a download link in your email. And you're going to pull up the uh, the application that you need to download onto your computer called Continuata. And this, according to which platform you have, you click the one, you know, whichever one you, you're, you're on. And then... Um, You'll get this little this little box. It looks like this. And once you finish downloading everything, you just have to move everything over into your applications. Or at least that's what it is for us Mac users. And everything will copy to your application section. So now it's there. And you can actually just double click it from here. Now on for PC users, I'm really not sure what that is. But this is this is what it is for for Mac users. Um, I couldn't just double click on it because my Mac doesn't you know recognize it. it. It sees it as a third party, so I have to actually right click on it and then go this process and say open. Yeah, you know I definitely want to use this. And so basically from here, all you do is just go back to your email and copy and paste your serial number here, and it will just start downloading just like that. And you do the same process for any other expansions that you purchase through their site. Just grab the serial number, paste it down in here, download. It's going to tell you it's going to tell you where where the folders are, or it allows you to pick the folder. And that's just as simple as that. Like most sample libraries that you will be downloading to your computer, I suggest you use a external hard drive. I have a G drive. It's a one terabyte and it's seventy two hundred RPMs which is the speed of the drive. And I'm going to just label this folder as output because that's the name of the company and click open and everything should start downloading. So once you add your serial number in here, the cool thing about this is it downloads and install automatically. There is a little settings here up here where you can change whatever, whatever you want. You can change this if you want to say you wanted to just download only or okay i like this option better download and install at the same time and then you can choose if you want this thing to ask you if you want to delete these extra archive files you really don't need them so i have mine set to always or ask it'll ask you and you can say yes or no and that's that's pretty much that's pretty much the gist of this, you know, and after this is done, then I can show you how easy it is to add this in your contact player. OK, so I have everything downloaded and installed. All right. And I went ahead and also gotten the um, the ambient vocal, which is an expansion. So if you purchase Excel, they, they offer it right now. I don't know if this is something that they will, you know, always do. You know what I mean? But right now, if you was to go get it. You know, this is available. They're they allowing the free expansion. And, you know, when we download expansions, sometimes, you know, going through. I've noticed when when playing with the um, with the Excel plugin is not that easy. Just pulling up a list to go through and see all your presets is like you got to click one by one. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I just didn't figure it out. But. I wanted to know if I at least had my expansion in there. So this is one of the ways you can go 
and check and make sure that your expansions are are in the um in the folder so you have to go to library data excel presets and these are the presets that comes by default if you just purchase excel by itself without any expansions but if we go a little further down we're going to see man this is a lot of expansions man this is like a million things you could be doing like 250 comes with it automatically now this is the ambient expansion here it starts right here and you get about a good 100 of those okay so there we go <laughs> okay so i have contact loaded up here and i'm going to show you how easy this is all you have to do is go to add library and it's going to take you to your file system and you just search for the file so it's in this output folder and all you have to do is just click on the excel folder here and boom put in your password details credentials or whatnot if you have and just that simple now excel is inside of my library with no problem uh, along with everything else we got to get this up and, and running i have to locate them but yeah it's here and then there's an activate button here at the top it's going to ask you to activate everything and bam go and grab your serial number again and paste it down here and just activating you should be good got everything activated and i'm not really sure what the difference between these two here i'm thinking legacy means the first one and i don't know they they are sort of different i have to play with it a little bit more to understand you know the difference between them two i don't have my keyboard set up at the moment so you're going to just be looking at it at uh excel inside of contact without any sound <laughs> all right now here is excel downloaded here's the, the the back end you know messing around with the, the macros or whatever i'm not going to do a tutorial i just want to show you guys how to get it you know inside your contact library and once you pull contact up in whatever doll you're using whether it's pro tools Re well i was about to say reason but not reason <laughs> uh studio one logic pro uh bitwig um able to live whatever whatever program you're using that supports vsts or au plugins i believe this is vst um it, it should pull up with no problem because it's inside of contact so look for contact and not excel all right and then excel will live inside of your player you can still move this around like you need to but the first step is getting everything inside of your contact library from the start so just upload your contact player first before you begin to use it i believe you can still do this inside of your dog because i think i tried doing that and it worked it perfectly so you either or will work but i i figure the best way I, I, you know to me to to avoid any complications or anything that could have that could happen is just upload your or la launch your your contact five or whatever it may be six seven whatever your contact player all right and um go through that process and you should be good all right this is your boy Ellup. i hope that this was very helpful to you remember music is art you're the artist paint your picture